About 10 months ago, I posted a video called The Most Useless Degrees. In this video, I talked about common degrees that people waste their money on all the time. Now, this video sparked a lot of controversy and I managed to trigger hundreds of people just by trying to help them avoid the student loan debt trap. Now, two big things came to my attention. One, a ton of people commented on the video telling me their stories of wasting a lot of time and money on worthless degrees. And two, a lot of you guys wanna see more videos on useless degrees. Now, since making that video, I've done a ton of research and I found some degrees that are so much worse than anything that I put on that list. That's right, worse than fine arts, art history, or even stuff that has studies tacked on the end like gender studies, or American studies, or religious studies, or European studies, or urban studies, or smashing the like button studies. Now until now, I couldn't think of a worse thing to spend $40,000 on in four years of your life than a gender studies major, but I was wrong it gets much, much worse. Number 10 on the list is going to be cosmetology services and culinary arts. Now this one made me stop for a moment and I just thought to myself, what the heck do culinary arts and cosmetology services have to do with each other? Then I thought about it for a second. Makeup? and food, you combine those two things together and you get Instagram model. This must be a degree that will teach you how to portray yourself as being better than everyone else on social media while contributing no value whatsoever to society. This is also a goal that inspires millions of people everywhere to try and get their 15 minutes of fame. Now, being famous without actually having to accomplish anything in your life used to be reserved for a select few trust fund babies. But this is the great equalizer. That's right, it's the American dream, baby. Now the truth is the average person has too much natural talent and self-respect to become Instagram famous. So they had to create this degree in order to show you how to dumb down your personality and objectify yourself as much as possible. Okay, but all joking aside, like what the heck do you even do with a degree like this? Um, I, I don't know. Number nine on the list is going to be a turf grass science degree. So I guess this one teaches you how to be an expert on growing grass, mowing the lawn, and setting up a sprinkler system. And before someone comments down below, you know, I heard my brother's son's aunt's cousin's dog's uncle, you know, works for a Nigerian prince and makes $300,000 a year mowing his lawn. I looked up the numbers on all these. I made sure that they're actually not profitable. They're not very good in terms of your return on investment. All the ones on this list have really bad numbers. Just because there's a few exceptions to the rule doesn't change the rule itself. You hear stories all the time about people jumping off 10 story buildings and surviving. Does that mean you should jump off a 10 story building? No. Next one on this list, okay. This is where it starts to get really bad. <laughs> Number eight on the list is going to be a general studies major. So if you ever gone out with someone, uh, you go to a restaurant, you're hungry, you're there, you're ready to eat, and they look at the menu for like 30 minutes before they finally select something. It makes you wanna just grab the menu for them and order. It's so annoying. Well, what if I was to tell you that there's a major tailored specifically to those types of people. It's called general studies and it's perfect for people who can't make a decision. Now I've talked a lot on this channel about how you should avoid majors that are too general. And this is because hiring managers and business owners aren't gonna know what you can do for them. The whole reason for you to go to college is for you to get a specific skill set to become an expert on something. And this degree is basically like majoring in studies studies. If you're wanting to get a job for say $50,000 a year and the business owner doesn't see how they're going to recuperate your $50,000 salary, they're obviously not gonna hire you. They're gonna throw your resume in the trash where it belongs. Or maybe people like this should consider majoring in decision science. Yes, that's, that's a real one too, and no, it's not very good. Don't major in it. All right, so this next one is really taking me back to the good old days. Number seven on the list is going to be middle school education. The last degree we talked about was too general. Now, this one has the opposite problem. It's way too specific. Now, unfortunately, getting an education degree in general isn't the best choice just because teachers aren't paid that well. But getting a middle school education degree, first of all, who the heck would want to teach middle school? Most people probably want to just completely erase that time in their life, you know, pretend like it never happened. It's because people at that age think they know everything when they actually know less than nothing. It's a painful time to be a part of, but luckily for most people, it only lasts about three years. If you major in middle school education, you can turn that three into a 43 because you're going to be around middle schoolers for the rest of your life. Number six on the list is going to be pop culture, recreation, and leisure studies. Do you like having fun? Do you like relaxing and not having to work? Do you like watching The Office? This might be the degree for you. Now don't get me wrong, I love watching Game of Thrones season one to seven and 90 Day Fiance as much as the next guy. But to expect to get paid to be an expert on these subjects? <laughs> It's not very likely. If you could make money doing these sorts of things, then everybody would be doing it because it's fun, 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 fun! 
It's simple supply and demand. There's a ton of people that would love to do this for a living, but there's just not that many jobs available. If you wanna make money with something like this, you've gotta get creative. You gotta start a YouTube channel or a blog or a podcast or something along those lines. Because if you get this degree, it will likely prepare you to relax during those long years of unemployment. All right, guys, number five, you're probably sitting on your toilet right now praying that I don't mention your degree. Number five is going to be restaurant and food service management, AKA the Hunger Games, AKA a burger flipping degree. Okay, so when you first hear this one, you might think that it's not that that useless, right? I mean, there's tons of restaurants out there and they need people who know how to run them. This also kind of sounds like a business degree and those tend to be pretty decent. This is an example of another trend I keep seeing where they'll take a very common job that you know makes pretty decent money, managers of restaurants do make pretty good money, and then they'll slap like a studies behind it or something like that, and then they expect people to get that degree and become a manager. Sometimes they slap a word management, science, technology, even engineering sometimes onto the end of something that sounds like it might be good but rest assured when I did the research on this one it didn't grade out very well there's a ton of industries and a ton of jobs out there where the best way for you to learn the trade is to just start working no amount of theory or studying out of a book or you know listening to some professor in a classroom that's probably never even done the thing that they're talking about is going to help you this one is just a perfect example of that and there's so many others out there don't fall for this one guys come on if you want to learn the restaurant business start working in a restaurant restaurant, learn the business, work your way up to manager. Eventually you'll get good enough. You know how to run the whole place and you can open your own restaurant. I can almost guarantee you that spending four years working in a restaurant and then working your way up to manager, getting all of that experience is going to teach you so much more than getting a theoretical college degree on restaurant management. Number four on the list is going to be contemporary dance. All right. So you like to dance. That's great. A lot of people like dancing and not going to lie. It would be cool to do that for a living. But here's the problem, there's almost no jobs out there for this, and the few that are out there don't care if you have a degree or not. All they care about is how skilled you are at dancing. You know, you go to a tryout and you can't be like, oh, well, this other person is a better dancer than me, but you know, oh, look at my degree, look at my degree, you should hire me instead. That's just not how things work. If you wanna be a professional dancer, getting a college degree is not gonna help you 99% of the time. In fact, with a lot of these degrees, they're gonna actually make it harder for you to reach your goals because it's gonna be four years of your life and then you're also going to be forty thousand dollars in debt you're going to have to work extra side jobs just to pay back that debt and you won't have any time for practice or auditions oh man these last three are bad i can't believe i'm doing this Number three on the list is a nannying degree. And yes, I confirm this is a real degree that's offered. And speaking of skills that you don't need to and you probably can't learn from school, nannying is a perfect example. That's right, do you wanna be a super nanny like Mary Poppins? There are schools out there that will gladly take your money in order to teach you these skills. Okay, so for one, look at all the different apps that are available for people to just hire random nannies. You've got care.com, you've got collegenannies.com, tutors.com, there's so many different services out there. And it's crazy, none of these sites require you to have a nannying degree. In fact, none of them require you to have a degree at all. Now, I had to do some research on this profession because, you know, shocker, I've never been a nanny myself. That's one of the few side jobs I haven't tried. And of of course, I found a subreddit called R Nanny so that I could enlighten myself. So I was reading this subject and they were talking about how if you have a bachelor's or a master's level degree, sometimes families will be willing to pay you a little bit more. But I couldn't find a single subreddit and I searched for a long time saying anything about getting a nannying degree and if that's a good investment. I wonder why. Next on the list, okay guys, um, looking at this is just painful for me. Um, I can't take it anymore. I have to use some protective equipment. The cringe radiation is just too much. Number two on the list, get ready for it. It's puppetry. What the hell's so funny? I don't even know what to say about this one. Uh, let's check out Jeff Dunham's Wikipedia page because he's probably the most famous ventriloquist or puppet master out there. So it looks like Jeff Dunham got started with puppetry as a teenager when he would perform for different audiences and churches, etc. Now he attended college at the University of Baylor in the 1980s with a communications degree, not a puppetry degree. And this was back in the day when you could get just about any degree and it would be worth it. And honestly, I looked up all the most famous puppeteers and ventriloquists of all time and not 
a single one of them got a puppetry degree. Obviously, this is one of those skills. Hey, if you wanna be a professional puppeteer, go for it. I'm not knocking you. I'm not telling you shouldn't do it. If it's your dream, if it's your passion, you should follow your dreams. Just don't go to college, waste $50,000 on a worthless degree in four years of your life on something that's not gonna help you achieve your goals. If you do this, you'll end up being a puppet for the college and the student loan collection agencies. All right, you know what? These glasses aren't doing it for me. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and put this on for the very last one. <sighs> I'm gonna have to take a break after this. The cringe is, is too much, it's too much. Number one on the list is going to be an individualized major. Here's one I found, Beatles Popular Music and Society. Or how about David Beckham Studies? Or maybe you should go to Columbia University and get a strategic storytelling degree. Now this one is especially funny because Columbia University is one of the most expensive colleges in the United States with a tuition of $74,000 a year. That's almost $300,000 for four years. So imagine paying $300,000 for a Mickey Mouse degree. This is like the Build-A-Bear workshop of degrees. Okay, these thirsty ass schools have no shame whatsoever. They will do anything to get as much money out of naive 18 year olds as they possibly can. This degree is for the hipsters out there that just want to be different. What degree did you go to college for? Oh, you probably never heard of it. I majored in clown science and technology. Now with all joking aside, you might think that you'll stand out with a unique degree like this. But realistically, 99% of the time, whoever's reviewing your resume, who might potentially hire you, whether it's the hiring manager, or the business owner, if they're not familiar with your degree, they're probably not gonna wanna hire you. Even if you design a unique degree in something that sounds really good, like technology and strategic business management, they still aren't gonna be familiar familiar with it and rather than you know taking the time to figure out what the heck it is they might just throw your resume away it might not be fair but it's true <sighs> okay all right um all right so this video was pretty painful to make I don't make these videos to troll people or anything like that. I get tons of comments saying that I'm making these to troll people. I make them because this current situation that we're in is just, it's unbelievable. It's one of the biggest traps of our times. You look back at history and you think, wow, why did all those people start smoking in the 1940s and the 1950s? Well, getting a useless degree is the smoking of our times. Smoking is to your health what getting a useless degree will be for your financial future. So many people are falling into this trap and they have no idea what they're getting them themselves into. Go ahead, share this video in order to get the word out there. Don't forget to always smash the like button, hit the subscribe button, ring the notification bell because that really helps out the channel. And then comment down below any thoughts that you have on the video. Maybe share your experience with your degree or maybe a cousin of yours degree and check out these videos right here.